If you're excited to start learning, hit that thumbs up below and let's get started. The first step in this is to be able to find something profitable that we can make money with. So right now, this website here is called Google Trends. It's absolutely free to use. And you wanna start brainstorming some ideas that we can come up with to start making money. So in this example, I'm just gonna say mountain bikes. So I chose the term mountain biking and you can see that I filtered the last five years. And then what you see here in this data is that you see on the humps right here, this is in summertime, June, July, it spikes. And then again, every summer it spikes because people are outside and they're looking up different topics about mountain biking. So I think this could be good, but we can take this a step further. So I jumped over to ChatGPT and I'm gonna search right here, give me 10 profitable blog niche ideas. And I'm just simply gonna hit go. Right here, what you can see is that ChatGPT has given us 10 different ideas of blog articles and topics that we can start creating to make money. We can take it a step farther and I said, give me 10 blog keywords for mountain biking and so what it did is it started spitting out different keywords that we can use now this is just one method that you can use to come up with keyword ideas the other thing we can do is come to this website right here which is a free keyword research tool that also uses ai for seo so this tool is absolutely free it's called ryrob.com forward slash keyword tool. And if you come here, what we can do is put in a term here. So I said mountain biking tips for beginners. And we're going to start getting different ideas right here. And on the right hand side, we can see the search volume and also the difficulty. What we want is something with low difficulty. Next, you want to head over to amazon.com and scroll all the way to the bottom. Once you're at the bottom, you're going to see this link right here that says become an affiliate sign up to become an amazon affiliate now if you don't have a website continue watching this tutorial because i'll show you how to get a website so you can become an affiliate the next step is to come to this website right here which is called seowriting.ai and you can use this tool absolutely for free and we're going to use this artificial intelligence tool to write blogs for us and if i come over to the page where you see the pricing here you can see that you can generate up to five articles a month absolutely free. Now, if you want to take it to the next level, you can do their starter package, which gives you then up to 50 articles per month. But getting started is absolutely free. I will leave my affiliate link down in the description for you guys to get signed up. The last thing that we're going to need for this method to work is a WordPress website and not just any WordPress website you're actually gonna to need to sign up through Hostinger because they have a secret tool that allows you to use a plugin to make Amazon commissions. So what you're gonna do is head over to this site, I'll leave the link down below, and you wanna choose the business package. And the reason being is because if I come down here in the feature list, what you're gonna see down here is the free Amazon affiliate WordPress plugin. We're going to use this to populate Amazon affiliate links onto our website. Click choose plan for the business plan. And then once you get to this page, you're gonna simply choose your period. Now, the longer you do, the more you're going to get a discount. If I choose one month, it's gonna cost me $14.95 a month. If you choose 48 months, then it's gonna cost you $2.95 per month. So go ahead, get signed up, I'll leave the link down below. Now simply log in to your SEO writing account and you're gonna scroll down, we're gonna choose one click blog post. Now this is where we're gonna generate the title and the article using artificial intelligence. So for here, I'm gonna post in my keyword, which is beginner mountain biking tips, and then I'm simply gonna generate a title. That's gonna spit out a brand new title for us. And as you can see, this one says, essential beginner mountain biking tips for new riders. Awesome, that's great. Now what you wanna do is come down here and choose the article size. Now, because we're trying to rank these on Google, what you wanna do is make sure that this is either medium or large. You want nothing smaller than that. And on the large, that allows you 3,600 to 5,200 words inside of your article. Next, you can come over here Choose the tone of voice. 
which they have different methods that you can use. You can choose friendly, professional, informational. For this, I'm just gonna leave it on friendly. Then you wanna choose your AI model. I'm gonna leave it on Claude 3 right now. And then you come down here, you can choose your point of view. For this example, I'm gonna use the first person. Then what you wanna do is come over here. This is one of the most important parts of this. And we want to humanize the text. So under this, what you wanna do is click right here and you can choose basic AI words removal or extended. In this case, I'm just gonna say extended. And then you can also choose what grade you want this to be written in. I'm gonna leave it right here as the recommended eighth and ninth grade, easily understood. Then you can come over here and choose the target country. I'm gonna say the United States. And then what you can do is you can actually specify details for this specific blog post. I'm not gonna do that right now. And then we come down to the media hub. So right here, you can choose AI images, how many images you want, the image style. You can choose different styles right here. I'm just gonna leave it open and say none. Then we come down and you can choose if you want YouTube videos to be pulled into your article. How many videos? I'm just gonna leave it at one. And then this part is also really important, which is SEO, including NLP words. So if I click on this button right here, what that's gonna do is populate relevant keywords that have to do with my main keyword. And then you come down here and we have a bunch of different options. For this example, I'm leaving them all turned on. Then we can come down here and we want to select this button, which is connect to the web, which basically means it's gonna go out there on the internet and pull relevant information. And what you can do is also say the source time. So let's just say that you want it to be in the last 24 hours, week, month, or year. You can do that so that way your information is up to date and relevant. If you keep scrolling down, now you can see you can actually publish it to your WordPress website, just like the one that you just created. And this is really cool because with the click of a button, we can choose to make it a post and we can choose to put it as published or draft, or we can even schedule it. In this case, I'm gonna leave it as draft and I'll show you how to do this and set it up on your WordPress website later in this video. Then you wanna scroll all the way to the top and at the top right, you're gonna see this button right here that says run. Simply hit that button. Now, here's the result. We have an article right here and what you can see is this article that was generated is 3,714 words. And we can scroll down here and take a look. You can see it pulled in a video right there. It has tables that it pulled in. It has a quote right here, and this is looking really good. Now, before we publish this, I'm gonna show you how you can link your WordPress website to this website. Log into your hosting your account and get access to your WordPress dashboard. Once you're on the inside, on the left-hand side, you're gonna wanna go to plugins, and then you're gonna click on add new plugin. You're gonna come to a page like this, and then what you wanna do is search for SEO writing. Once you do that search, this is the plugin that you want to install. So you're going to click on install and then click on activate. Once you have the plugin activated, come down here to settings and scroll down until you see SEO writing. Click on that and then right here, it's not going to say disconnect. It's actually going to say connect. Be sure that you're logged into your SEO writing account in the same browser when you do this and then simply click connect and the two will be synced up together. Come back to SEO writing, hit this publish button, and then what you wanna do is at the top, select your site that you created over on WordPress. Once you do that, come to the bottom and hit publish. The rest of this tutorial will take place in WordPress, so come back and log into your WordPress account and come on over to the left-hand side and you wanna to go to posts, and you can click on all posts. And then what you're gonna see right here is we have that new draft article. So click on that article, and now you're gonna see that the article was brought over into your WordPress site. What you wanna do is click anywhere in here and click on convert to blocks. Then down here, it spits out some HTML. All you have to do is click on these three dots and delete this section. Now we have this entire article inside of our WordPress website. But now comes the fun part because now we're gonna monetize this blog. And all you wanna do is click on add block, and then you're gonna choose Amazon products just like this. Once you click on that, you're going to be presented with this page here. And in this case, I'm gonna choose multiple products. You click on select, 
and then you want to search Amazon for this product. Now, what I'm showing you right now is the very special plugin that Hostinger allows you to have. This plugin is not found anywhere else and it allows us to bring products into Amazon. So I'm going to click right here and then I can choose to search on Amazon for the product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in mountain bike. I'm going to hit go and take a look at this. Now we have all of these different mountain bikes that I can bring into my site. And so I can start adding them. So in this case, let's just add six. I'm going to confirm the selection and then I can choose what it looks like here. I like this first card, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to click add products and boom, Bob's your uncle. Take a look at this. Now we have all of those products that I just selected brought over into my WordPress blog post. And if anyone clicks on this button right here for any of these and makes a purchase, that's when a commission is made. Aside from SEO with your blog post, I want to show you a couple different ways to drive traffic. One of those ways is you can create pins inside of Pinterest. Now it's really easy to do this because you can even use artificial intelligence to generate AI images of bikes, but you can also use something like Canva and create these simple little pins and link them back to your website. The other method to drive traffic is to use this website called medium.com. Now you can continue to use seowriting.ai to create more articles and put them inside of medium.com. And then from your articles inside of medium, you link them back to your own articles on your website. Now what you're going to see is a link in the description of this video. If you go click that link, I will share with you my number one recommended way to make money online. Thank you for watching this video. YouTube thinks that you should watch this video next. Thanks for watching. This is Nathan with Freedom Influencer. And of course, I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.